Hello, everyone, and welcome to Spooky Appalachia. I'm Jimmy, and this is Phil. Hey, everyone. For today's story, we've been sent another Mothman sighting, and uh, this one is from Virginia in Floyd County. This is the first one we've gotten that's from Virginia, and uh, we're both from Virginia, so we're both pretty excited to receive it. Hi, my name is Scott. This story took place around Thanksgiving of 2019. I was turkey hunting on my friend's land in Floyd County. It was sometime around 6 in the morning. I came up on a group of turkeys in the woods. Keep in mind, this is about a mile out in the middle of nowhere, in a forest not a soul around, and still a little dark. I shot at one of the turkeys and hit it. It fell down dead. The other ones took off. That's when I heard this god-awful screeching sound. I turned and looked in the direction the sound came from. Up in an old oak tree stood a dark brown figure. It looks like a cross between a bird and a man. It was maybe seven feet tall, with huge wings and what looked like a yellow or red glowing eyes. About as soon as I saw it, it leapt out of the tree and flew off headed north. Was it after the group of turkeys? I grabbed the one I shot and booked it out of there. I had no idea what that thing was, but knew I just wanted to get home. Fast forward a few months, and it's the COVID lockdown. I'm watching a documentary on the Mothman on the Travel Channel. The creature they describe sure does sound a lot like what I saw. We ain't that far from West Virginia. I also saw the Mothman shows up when something bad's about to happen. Could this have been related to the COVID outbreaks? Thank you for taking the time to listen to my story, Scott. Wow. Thank you, Scott, for sending us this incredible story. As I mentioned, we're both uh, very excited to receive a Mothman story from our home state. Um, That is something to think about there. Uh, Perhaps Mothman was trying to warn us of uh, the the coming COVID outbreak. Uh, We did receive another uh, Mothman sighting around the same time. Around 2019, yeah. Yeah, and um, it was Michigan, though, but... uh, yeah, I have seen reports of a lot of sightings around uh, um, the Great Lakes and Chicago areas around that time, too, 2019. I, I've never really looked that hard into them, but, you know, that is something that I had back in the back of my mind. I was like, wow, I wonder if something's going on there. Um, Most of the ones I have seen that are, like, after the original Point Pleasant ones seem to be Great Lakes, Yeah, Chicago, Indiana, Ohio, that kind of area. We had had one from West Virginia, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did have one from Um, West Virginia. And another one from New York. I think you're right. I think of it. Oh, and then uh, one from South Africa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Oh, uh, gosh. I hope something else isn't about to happen. yeah. Maybe Mothman just likes to travel. Maybe he's on vacation yeah, from the, uh, the 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 warning the warning business the the disaster uh, warning business. Maybe maybe he's just into travel now. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, and this was kind of more like the original sightings too, with with it being more brown than the sort of yeah, black color, right? a lot of people forget that. I don't know. I, um the the original sightings were like gray or dark gray brown and this one they said it was brown and looked like a uh, like a, a cross between a bird and a man which all, are all kind of like the original uh descriptions yeah. um red or yellow gr- glowing eyes um a lot of people these days are saying black uh, black was, was something I, I think either came up from the, the movies or the, uh, the, the, the artwork that, uh, got really popular gotcha. in, the, in the early 2000s. I, I forget what the site was, but it was maybe deviant art. Maybe if it I was, can't. yeah. Cause I don't yeah. think art station was around back then. Was it? I think that's a kind of a newer I'm site. Not sure. Yeah. There, there was a. A lot of cutesy Mothman uh, drawings that uh, started circulating around on the internet. I think this is when it started getting popular, Mothman. 
that and with yeah. fallout 76 and yeah in fallout 76 it's it's black but uh yeah the original sightings were like a looked more like a big bird man type thing and not really a moth, moth yeah the yeah moth man was something the the newspapers came up with because the show batman was popular yeah yeah, I, I was almost thinking it might be have been because, like, in the newspapers, they wouldn't have been able to print brown. Because all, like, the newspapers back then would have been black and white. But that kind of makes more sense of, like, because it was black in the movie, right? So if, like, the art got real big because of the movie, then that yeah, kind of makes awful. sense that that would be... And the movie came out in that time frame. It was, it was like, like 02, 03, something like that, I think. Maybe 04, I don't remember. Yeah. It definitely had that that early two thousands vibe. Too. Yeah, <laughs> and I think it was filmed in Pennsylvania. Oddly, that makes sense if you've got you know it's still Appalachia, and you might get. I mean, they usually film where they get the best tax breaks. So. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, they probably had some studio space up there, so I, I I could I could see that I could see Pennsylvania working for that. It's like how everything in. Uh, that's filmed in that's supposedly in Cal like Psych was filmed in British Columbia. Like a bunch of the stuff that's filmed in like huh. Northern California is actually filmed in British Columbia. Because huh. the Canadian government gives gives good benefits to studios <laughs> that go there. Hmm. But yeah, no, it's a it's a really cool sighting. Um yeah, that's that's cool to see one back down, like especially in our neck of the woods, because that's Floyd's not yeah, far. Floyd that's like thirty is, uh, minutes an hour away, depending on which one of our houses you're driving. From. Yeah, yeah, me for me, it's about an hour away. Yeah. So for those of you listening who you might actually be familiar with the place, there's a music festival there every year called Floyd Fest, which has gotten pretty massively popular to my understanding. Like, I, I've never been, but enough to where like people I know who did go were complaining that the tickets are up to like several hundred dollars now. So Jeez. it's, it's yeah, it's, it's pretty popular to my understanding. And then there's the Floyd country store, which I think is also a fairly popular uh, kind of attraction and slash shopping destination when you're near the parkway and going across that area. So, yeah, I've never stopped. I've only driven through. Yeah. I've only driven through as well. I'm not a big like music show person, so I've never had any really inkling to go to Floyd fest. I did stop at a karate school there once to visit, but that's that's I think that's the only time I've ever been stopped in yeah. Floyd. So I think you go through to go to Martinsville and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, it's it's down that way. But yeah, this was a really great story, and uh, thank you again, Scott, for for sending it along. Um, and remember, remember, if you have a paranormal story you want us to feature. Uh, you can send it in to us at uh, webmaster at spookyappalachia.com. And uh, big thanks to our Patreons for uh, who keep us running. Um, Alvin, Charles, Danielle, Donald, Jeff, Jordan, Josh, Julia, Linda, Shannon, and Taylor. And thank you all for tuning in. Take care, everyone.